Hey guys, it's Lily. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Revlon Color Stay Under Eye Concealer. And I am in the shade 610 Fair. I did a review a couple months ago on the Garnier, or however you pronounce it, Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Well, I just went to an overnight... It was this place where there was like cottages and stuff with my three friends and I was doing my makeup and the cap of this went down the drain and I was like, well crap, that's not good. So I went to Target to go pick this up and I also totally cracked and smashed my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So I just got a new one. Anyway, basically I went back to Target and I was going to buy a new one of these, but they didn't have them. I guess they don't sell them anymore or they were sold out or something. The only thing that they had was like kind of the same thing, but it was a tube and then it had the roller ball at the top and it was like $12. So I'm like, I'm not spending $12 on that. My mom had a coupon for a Revlon Color Stay product so I could get a foundation, a concealer, or a powder. So I got this. And as you guys know, my under eyes are really dark. But it just says it covers dark circles for up to 16 hours. Let's just see how this works. Okay, so I'm just going to take this out of the packaging. By the way, this isn't a review, this is a first impressions because obviously I've never used it. So basically this is the thing. So it has a very minimal product. I got like a dollar off or something like that. This is the brush, oh it's the applicator. It's nice and soft, it's kind of like a sponge. But if you can see this, it's like little fibers. It's not necessarily like a sponge applicator, it's like more of a fibery thing. All right, so I'm guessing you just twist this. Oh wow! Okay, so basically there's little, like, perforated holes, if you can see that. And the product is coming out. Is it like a powder or what? Okay. Okay, it's not doing anything. <laughs> Keep cranking. Oh, there it goes. There's the product. I guess you just had to click it a bunch of times. So basically it kind of looks like, you know that perforated chocolate? That's what it reminds me of. That's weird. Okay. So let's see, let's put this on my under eyes. So the product is nice and smooth, creamy. I don't know if I'll like this as much as I liked my Garnier, which there's still some product left, it just doesn't have a cap. So I'm gonna blend this out with my finger. So right now, it doesn't look like it's brightening that much and it doesn't say it's supposed to brighten. I think I need to put more product on the other eye. This eye looks a little bit lighter. Well, so far, it's not giving me very much coverage, but I'm gonna see if I can build it up. Cause that's what happened to me with the Garnier. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it down below. But at first I didn't like it, and then after I used it a couple of times, I really liked it. Right now, it seems like it's not giving off a lot of coverage. So I'm going to take a picture under this lighting. I'm just going to show you it right now. It looks really good under natural lighting. It doesn't look like I have any dark circles. It's a little shiny, but I haven't put on my powder yet. I'm going to go do my eyebrows and then I'm going to come back and apply another coat and see what happens. All right, so I did my eyebrows. Um, By the way, I just filmed an eyebrow tutorial. So if you haven't seen that and you want to go see how I do my eyebrows, then um, I will have a link down below. I've given, given, given time for the concealer to set, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more on. What I've noticed is that the formula is a lot stickier and it's a lot thicker than the Garnier or any kind of concealer that I've really had. And it does crease, if you can see that, and it creased on my crease too. My thoughts on it right now, it's okay. I like this better, but I didn't like this at first, so, you know, whatever. I'm just going to put a powder on top because sometimes that changes my mind about product. Mm, 
really OCD about my under eyes and for some reason I haven't had very bad dark circles recently. I don't know if today it's just like darker than normal or what. I don't know what you see but basically so I'll see if I can tell there's under eye circles when I edit this but that's what it looks like for now. It is 1.30 and I am going to check back with you guys in a few hours. Alright guys, so it is currently 6.01 and I'm just going to look at... I was like looking in the mirror and stuff and I don't know why, it's just like not covering up very well. Even when I'm right here, like you can see my dark circles and, and like it's fine. It's not very noticeable, but I would like it to just be a little bit lighter, you know? I'm gonna check back at the end of the night. Okay guys, it's currently 9.13. My thought of this, it actually lasted quite a long time. Like, this eye doesn't have any under eye circles. It's dark outside, so that's why the lighting is different. What I see, this eye was not cooperating today, but this eye is fine. And overall, I don't like it as much as the Garnier, but like a best of the Garnier, I didn't like it that much but i said it was fine this one it's okay the product is sticky which i didn't really like it creased which <laughs> nobody likes creasing it didn't even cover up my nose it, i just did my workout routine which if you want a video on that i guess i can do it it's really really simple i mean it doesn't look like i just came out of bed like at least it covered up some of sorry i'm being quiet because my sister's in bed so let me know what you think and if you have it and what you're opinions on the concealer are but yes yeah, so i'm just gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye